Yo, what's up, YouTube? Man, this is Jada Trucker, man. And welcome to my channel. But y'all already know what y'all need to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. But today, I had to load from hell. It picked up in Suffolk, Virginia, and went to Lebanon, Connecticut. And this load was just the worst load I ever had in my life. Like, literally. Like... I picked up the load and um, as soon as I picked it up, broke automatically called asking me what's my location. So I, I let her know. So then I started heading back, run out of time. So I had to take my 10 hour break. So I took my 10 hour break because the load ain't had to be in Connecticut until later on. So I took my 10 hour break. And when I woke up, like I really didn't like I looked at my hours and it said I only had 30 minutes left on my clock so I'm trying to figure out why I only got 30 minutes so I hit up dispatch dispatch telling me that oh yeah that's what you got 30 minutes so then I see that my laws were certified at 8 p.m. that night and I'm like hold on like I won't even up at 8 p.m. So I hit up safety, and the safety department tell me that, yeah, they added my logs. So I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you fuck my logs up. So now you have to fix it. And, like, I'm not the type of person that's going to sit around here and joke around like, yeah, 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 this, that, and the third. No, fix my motherfucking logs so I can motherfucking deliver this load. They took some shit to fix my logs. I'm talking about 5 a.m. come, then they fix my logs and I got my whole 14. So I started heading towards Connecticut. And I already knew that I was gonna be late and I won't make and I won't go make that 7 a.m. appointment. So I hit dispatch up, I'm like, you know I'm not gonna make that 7 a.m. appointment. They was like, well just get there. I'm like, alright. So I'm up there, I'm pushing it. It get 6.45, the broker calling me like, uh, what's your location? I tell her I'm in Queenstown, Maryland, 301. And she like, oh, okay, so is you gonna make your 7 a.m. appointment? I'm like, no. She was like, okay, like Connecticut is not far from Suffolk, Virginia. It's like two hours. I look I looked around like, this bitch tripping. Ain't no fucking way Connecticut is two hours away from Virginia. Ain't no motherfucking way. So I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I ain't gonna get there at 1, 1 p.m. Like, that was my ETA. It, it's gonna be 1 p.m. And I tell you, it's like, the load was plants. So, I mean, shit, I don't mind hauling plants. Like, that ain't shit. And it was a power only load at that. Like I really don't do a lot of power only. Like I do a lot of a Amazon loads. So I'm looking at like, okay, cool. So I'll be there at 1 p.m. And, and she was like, okay. So like she was like, so why are you gonna be late? And I and then I started explaining to her about my e logs and dispatch fucking with it and shit. And she was like, well. No, I don't think that's the problem. I think you just not doing your job. You irresponsible. I looked at her and was like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not irresponsible, lady. I'm not irresponsible at all. The problem is... Dispatch fucked up my logs. Safety certified my shit. That's illegal. And she's talking about, no, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. So I'm like, all right, well, you ain't got to believe me. Call call the company. Okay, whatever. Hung up. Boom. Then another lady from TQL calling. Yeah, like, I I got a, 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 a email trying to figure out your location because such and such said that they need your location. But I'm like, I just talked to such and such just now. And she said 
that she don't want to look like an asshole. So she told the people 1 p.m. And she's like, okay, well, what's your location? And I explained. I'm like, I'm in Maryland. And she's like, okay, so what's your ETA? And I was like, I just told you, 1 p.m. So I'm like, so she hung up. Then dispatch calling me. Yeah, like, uh, well, like, good morning, boss. Like, where are you located? I'm like, Queenstown, Maryland. Like, you got a GPS on the truck. So you know where I'm located at. And you always looking at my GPS. Like, you always looking at my GPS. So I'm like, you know where I'm at. Like, for real. Like, y'all swag me. Like, what the fuck y'all swag me for? Well, um, um, well, uh, I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Click. Like, All right, cool. Man, I drive about an hour, hour and a half. Fucking dispatch calling again. Different one. What's your location, sir? I need your location, sir. I'm like, you got a whole GPS. Y'all usually know when I'm moving and I'm moving the truck. So, why can't y'all just go ahead and put two and two together and look at the fucking GPS to see where I'm at? They talking about, well, sir, um, we we just need to need a update for the broker. I'm I'm like, but I got a GPS on the truck. I'm I'm like, when I had a loaner truck, y'all was calling. That was cool. But I got my truck back. So it shouldn't be no problem that y'all asking for my location. It should be no type of problem. Y'all should know where I'm, where I'm at at all times. So dispatch was like, all right, okay, sir. Bye. All right, bye. Man. I start, I get smoked in traffic in New Jersey, like right there, like Fort Lee, New Jersey, like right across in New York. My stomach started hurting, and, and, and then I had to pee on top of that. So I was like, man, I'm going to have to hold this shit because I ain't nowhere to pull over, and and I got to be on time to drop this load because I'm already late. So I'm like, boom. So I, I just started sitting in traffic, moving trying to bob and weed through traffic. But that shit didn't work. Soon as I got close to Connecticut, it was time to take my 30-minute break. And I was like fucking 15 miles away from from the receiver. So I'm like, all right, cool, boom. So I'm like, I, I call the receiver, being courteous, and I'm like, look, I got to take a 30-minute break. Because um I'm not gonna be able to make it there such and such a time. So like dude, if y'all got a spot where I can take my break at, then I'll take my break. It was like, well, sir, you know, um I don't know. I'm like, what? You don't know. So I'm like, alright, so I'm I'm taking my 30 minute break and like they was like, Well, we leave out here at two thirty. I'm like, alright, well, I'm gonna make it before two thirty cool so i take my little break and i go up there as soon as i arrive a ain't nobody around like everybody still on lunch so i'm cool with that so then they tell me you got two spots to back in the first spot is for us to load the belt the second spot is for us to offload the plants I'm like, yo, why can't you just offload the plants there? You know what I mean? I'm talking about this spot, like, this fucking big, yo. Both spots is this fucking big. It's a one and two on them. And, and I'm like, y'all could have just moved the conveyor belt over there so I could do it. So, you motherfuckers like, all right. Back on, um, like, um, fucking, like, back up here. So, I back up. And they load the conveyor belt. These motherfuckers told me to pull forward. I pulled forward an inch. No, 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 no. I, I didn't tell you to move forward. I'm like, yo, you told me to move forward. So then they called the a broker and tell them the broker that I'm in the wrong spot. So the broker already know not to call me. I already snapped on her ass. So she called dispatch. So dispatch called my phone and like, the broker calling saying that you in the wrong spot. 
And I'm like, no. So I took a picture of the spot, one and two. And I showed like where I was at. These people just wanted to be a whole asshole. So they offloading the plants. I'm sitting in the truck. I'm sitting there for four fucking hours, G. Four fucking hours. So I'm sitting there, they just offloading. And then like they take a, a like a pickup truck and they had like two wagons and taking the plants one by like they was offloading them bitches one by one. So by the time that shit was over, I ain't had no motherfucking time left on my clock. So I couldn't fucking move. So I'm calling dispatch for PC so I can go to a truck stop. This motherfucker's telling me, no, nah, we can't give you PC. So I had to call safety. Safety told me, look, like, we can give you PC, but you got to go to the closest truck stop. I'm like, all right, cool. So I Google the truck stop. These, and these motherfuckers was like, well, we ain't. Well, like, all right, well, like, once you get there, just just I'm gonna, um, just basically, like, let me know so I can turn your PC off. I'm like, that's some bullshit. Y'all want to lie to motherfucker to have PC? Really? Like, come on, bro. Y'all don't, like, you got to ask for personal convenience, bro. Like, who the fuck got to ask for personal convenience? That's some stupid-ass shit. And that's a stupid-ass motherfucking rule. And I told them that. So I, I fucking get to the TA up in... Somewhere up in Connecticut. It was by Hartford. Man, that fucking TA, as soon as you pull in that bitch, like, you only get sit there for two hours, and then you got to pay. And then if you stay all night and you got to spend up to like 20 over 20 dollars and, and, and basically inside the ta to stay there all night so i went in that bitch spent 20 dollars still had hell i still had hell from the fucking 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 uh fucking tql calling me motherfucking dispatcher still calling me all night i'm like god damn nigga can't get no motherfucking sleep Asking me when I'm going to take the trailer back to Virginia. I'm like, dog, are you fucking serious? As soon as I get up, all my time will break, I'm going to take the trailer back. Like, I ain't getting in no more violations. Because I already got one violation. Like, come on, dude. Like, I'm, like I fucking got to do a whole 34-hour reset to get off my fucking violations for the 14th. Like, that's some bullshit how I got in the violation. And safety fucking fix my logs and fuck my shit up. Like, for real. Like, that shit got me mad. That, that fucking shit got me heated. Like, people don't understand. Like, like this company, it's, it's not a bad company. It, it's a real strict company. But they ain't a bad company. It's like, you can make some good money over here leasing. And not company. But, like, you can make some good money over here. But y'all know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe.